Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family friendly gaming with Soap the Great. I am here on the Hypermind modded server playing some FTB Infinity Evolved. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I am enjoying this game. We've got a lot of projects lined up, but today we're just going to be doing one of them. We've got them lined up and all around, so do stay tuned. We're going to be probably, or probably by now you should have seen that we're we might be doing more than one modded episode a week just because I've got plenty of projects and I want to make sure that I'm getting these out to you so that I don't get too far ahead and have so much progress next time I have a chance to record. But today, what are we doing? We're over here on the, what is this, eastern coast of the island. And this is where we've got a little bit of the agricultural area going. And uh, we're going to be getting into a little bit more of a mod that I want to explore more in depth later. So we're just going to take a quick peek here. And then we're also going to be laying out a little bit of the design theme that I've shown you that uh, we're using the spruce and dark oak for. Um, and I still haven't decided on the color today. We're not going to be messing too much with the coloration. But yeah, so today we're going to work on, you can see it right there in the, in the waypoint, pumpkin and melon. We're one meter away, zero meters away. There we go. So because we are working on that, what we can do is get rid of that waypoint. And uh, have I done anything else? Uh, all the other waypoints need to remain. You can see some of the planning that I've been doing here. All right, so there's been no other long-term progress on the base, so I'm just coming in and we're going to take care of this project. So what I want to do, we've got Skystone on the walls out there uh, around the castle, so we're just going to run with that concept. That's going to be the base stone structure that we use. So let's just grab some of that, and then uh, we'll lay out a little bit of the design here, and then we'll get the rest of the farm going. So we're gonna have a base of Skystone small brick here, and our farm is actually going to be uh, more than just the pumpkin and melon farm. We're going to be combining it with the sugarcane farm as well. And one problem with misplacing Skystone, I don't know if you've seen this mined before, but it takes a while. It's not as bad as obsidian it looks like, but I do have a lot of haste both on this tool. Uh, how much haste? Okay, all the haste on that tool and then, no not there, here. I've got traveler's gloves and we've got all the haste on there as well. I think that is maxed out. It doesn't show you. I'm, I'm hitting shift, but it doesn't show you. Yeah, so there we go. Next up, what we need to do is get uh, some sand, and we'll get the sugar cane, and we'll start planting all of this stuff as well. That way, we've got a pretty good, a pretty good start on this whole thing. We're going to need the stone hoe, and that's it for now. We'll get to the decorating in just a moment. So we don't need the bow of justice. We'll bring in the sand sugarcane there, we need a carpenter's block, and the glowstone, and then a lily pad. Yeah, so I think we're good for the time being. So right in the middle, what we're going to do is throw down a carpenter's block. Why are you doing that? Well, you'll see in just a moment. And let's knock this out because I want the sugarcane to grow on sand. It just looks a little nicer. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to throw a skystone large brick into there. No, that doesn't look so good. Come on. I think I may need the hammer since I'm dealing with that. So let's grab the hammer and we should be good on the dirt digging so we don't really need uh, don't need the shovel anymore. So yeah, we will put that away. We'll put a regular piece of sky stone right there. There we go. Okay, that's nice enough. And then throw a little bit of glowstone in there and that way this whole area is going to be lit. Then what we need is... <laughs> so this project chest, I've got a lot of stuff in there. This is a rather large project, probably one of the largest that I'm going to attempt 
um, but I want to get this whole thing done. I'm pretty excited about how this thing is going to look. So, so yeah, what we'll do is take care of this part, uh, planting all these these seeds, and and then we'll get to the uh, decoration, and then I'll take care of most of it off camera, and and then bring you back for the next part. So we will need some pumpkin seeds and we're done with the sugar cane. Done with that. Anything else for the time being? Uh, that shouldn't, you know, uh, I can't, I can't quite get rid of the sword. It's just ingrained, even though we've got a magnum torch nearby. So what we're going to do is half of the, this whole thing is going to be pumpkin. Is that right? Yeah. And the other half is going to be melon, like so. And that way, the melon and pumpkin can grow uh, to that block, that block, that block, or that block, all the way around. And then we will set up an automated harvester for that. We've got some bone meal here, and we'll just dress that up, get that ready for when we do have the automation going which you've seen me set up with plenty of other farms currently on the server with late night tick I'm not sure whether he is playing or AFK uh, so I'm just gonna leave the night going through uh, I don't know you tell me it, is it too dark I know YouTube sometimes messes with the uh, the overall light levels we can put the melon seeds away bone meal we can put away Lily pad, let's put one down like so, and then we can put those away. That way, in case we're just walking through here, we're not going to fall in that hole. So there we go. Now, we need the harvester, and there we go. And then we'll look in the ender or in our project bag to see if we've got a tesseract. No tesseract. Hmm. So I'm going to do one of those. I'll take care of that off camera before we get this harvester fully set up. So what we'll do is put, put the harvester like that. And then what we need, no, that's part of what we're getting into at a later point. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the recipe for carpenter's blocks. There you go. It's a, a plank surrounded by sticks. I used them earlier on farms, and I'm going to be using them a lot in today's build. But let's see if we've got something. Uh, no, I need an upgrade. I thought I was fully prepared here, folks, and I'm not. So um, once I get the design laid out for you uh, and I take that little cut, I'll come back with the rest of what I need. So we can throw the ender tank on top here. And that's going to take care of the sludge that is produced when the harvester is going. Let's get the regular skystone block there. And we've got the dark oak wood. And we've got carpenter's blocks. We've got our carpenter's hammer. Don't need dirt. All right. And we need chisel and glass. All right. And maybe that. Okay. So what we're going to do, let me just show you one uh, one side and then I'll take care of the other four sides later is that what we want do we have spruce I want spruce that's the one I want I don't want I don't want that that's dark oak wood not the color that I want necessarily we'll go like that and like that and we'll try I forgot to pull up my screenshot this time as well we'll come across here like so all right so that's kind of what we're going for there and all right so next thing we need to bring in some carpenter's blocks we'll just do one for the time being and i'll show you why we do that we're going to hit it to where it's taking up the back half on the vertical and then we go like that and that way I don't have to hit each one of these. So you get the first one set up and the rest of them that you place next to it are like, like so. Then we'll take the diamond chisel 
we're going to get some glass. We're going to put some modern iron fence. Uh, let's see what else. What else do we got? We've got dungeon glass, ornate steel, asymmetrical. Yeah, I think I think that's the one that we want. But let's take a look. We're going to put put it like so. And I think I hope that's the yeah. It's not quite what I was thinking. Let's let's throw this in here. And we'll see how that looks. Uh no. Nope, that's a nope. Let's get that back and I shouldn't be chiseling that many. I really really should uh should learn that. So what we're going to do is just fill this in like so. And then up top here, carpenter's blocks again. And you know, no, no, no. We don't need that. When they don't have a material in them, they are rather easy to break. But once they put, or once you put a material in there, I think it takes on the overall properties of that material. So what we're going to do here is like that. We'll put this one in up top, but we want to change this shape a bit. We want to put this as a lower half slab, like so, and we'll come across like that. And then we're going to get the regular skystone brick and put that in here like this. And then we're done with that. We'll chisel up some of the iron bars and, ah, that's the one, ornate iron. And put that in like so. And then take some glowstone dust. You know the trick. There we go. And that illuminates the whole thing. And then up top here, what is it that I had put in? I will have to take a look at my screenshot. I can't remember what I did. Oh, I know. Let's, yeah, to keep the overall feel the same. Yeah, there we go. Not quite what I wanted there. Let's hit that with the hammer. There we go. So I should get, yeah, there we go. All right, so that's the design that we're going for for the overall little greenhouse effect. I'm going to take care of all the other four sides off camera. I'll get that tester act and the, uh, the expansion upgrade for the harvester as well. And when we come back, we'll get a little more progress done. All right, see you in a bit. Well, now I've got the Tesseract and the upgrade. So what we're going to do is throw this down right here and we'll put the upgrade in like so. And that should increase the machine range radius to five by five, which is what we want on the inside there. We're going to be going with the Soap Power Plus channel and we want to send items. We don't care about, yeah, we're going to block fluid and receive energy. So there we go. We should be seeing, oh, no, we actually have to click set frequency. There we go. And you can see it's already starting to harvest everything. And this is a good thing. All right. So next up, we're going to, uh, you know what? I'm going to show you the overall design. So what we're doing is kind of a, greenhouse type feel and that's going to play into uh, what I'm going to show you next okay so on the farms on the other side I wanted more of an open range type feel uh, more like fields and rather than greenhouses over here I want greenhouses and that's going to play into a mod that I want to get into and that is agricraft uh, I showed you that so we're, we're done with that one so we're going to be doing Agricraft sprinklers on this one and well just one sprinkler I've already got a sprinkler but I wanted to show you the recipe so um, so there you go right there the reason I'm I wasn't sure about this is because some of the items in Agricraft will respond to the wood type you use the sprinkler does not change its texture here in the item but we'll see something once we put it in place up top so we need a water tank and we need irrigation channel we only need one but what are you gonna do it gives you six so what we will do is put that like so and what I'm gonna 
do is come out, uh, let's see, dark oak planks, we want to go one, two, and then right there. All right, so the wooden water tank is going to go right there, wooden irrigation channel is going to go right there, and then we'll put the sprinkler, now watch, you see the sprinkler is currently with an oak texture, let's put it like that notice that it changed its texture that's a cool feature it'd be nice if it showed up like that in the item window but hey you know beggars can't be choosers so what we want to do now is just fill in the rest of this area because we're going to be using the sprinkler to help us grow the crops a little bit faster why do we need that well we don't really i just wanted to play around with this mod a little bit Hopefully you did not hear that big old truck that just went by behind us. Where's my project bag? Right here. And we're going to get... We had an ender tank. Maybe I didn't get that out of the project chest. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then in the project bag, we need a liquid transfer node. And then we'll see about pipes. But we shouldn't necessarily. So I've got a network for ender tanks that is giving me water. There's an aqueous accumulator over there somewhere. I was using it for obsidian production. I've got over 90,000 obsidian, so I don't really need that anymore. So what we're gonna do is put the transfer node like that. You can see it's filling up, which is good. And down below, actually I probably should have just left that open so you could see it. So we've got a sprinkler, and it works kind of like the open block sprinkler. It's going to help increase the efficiency a little bit and keep, keep this stuff hydrated. It's not such a big deal because we do have that water block in the middle, but I think it's a nice little touch to this greenhouse feel. So, so there we go. I've got automated sugar cane and melon and pumpkin all in one compact little area, and we've started... Oh, Valentine just joined. He's doing daily videos and he's probably on to get today's screenshot or tomorrow's video going. But yeah, there we go. So we've got sugarcane, melon, and pumpkin. It's fairly, fairly compact. I'll clean all this stuff up off camera, but let's go over to our project board and we can check some things off. So what do you think of the design of that greenhouse? So we're going to be doing that a little bit more frequently We're because we are going to be doing AgriCraft long term. There's some neat stuff you can do in there. Benito's doing bees. He's going into that. Uh, let's see. Other people are doing Thalmcraft. I don't really want to get into that. But AgriCraft looks really interesting. It goes along with a hobby of mine that is gardening. So we're going to play around with that. So sugarcane, we're good on. Ore berries, flowers, slime farm. We're doing pretty well here on our overall uh, to-do list. All right, so melon, pumpkin, and sugarcane. All right, so let me know what you think of the design. And again, still looking for some colors for other pieces of the design around here when we start getting into more of the buildings as the Skystone processing uh, catches up with where we need to be. But... That's going to be it for this installment of Family Friendly Gaming with Soap the Great. Again, if I'm not comfortable sharing it with my kids, I'm not going to share it with you. So you can count on that. All right. Yeah, I figured he was jumping on for a thumbnail. But uh, that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.